Hello everyone, today we are going to be checking out a the Deltarune ARG that was hosted on their website. Now, this happened for the fifth, the I, I think the sixth or seventh anniversary of Deltarune or Undertale a few months ago, and there was this thing called the Spamton Sweepstakes Charity, and the video put out for that was actually pretty fucking terrifying and funny at the same time. But, now we're just going to take a look at the ARG that came along with it, including several secret links that were hidden on the official website, including Blog. Now, Blog is Noel, the character Noel, posting on a blog about this game called Dragon Blazers. And you know Noel apparently has a sister named December or Des that is apparently missing. And uh yeah, so there's a little song that comes with it. Apparently, the name is Blood Crushers, the band Raise Up Your Bat. Now let's check the comments. You see Birdly here. Another epic gamer, another epic post. Can I be mod? This blog definitely needs more posts and possibly better ones. Whoever's prank calling my phone needs to stop. Your phone number and your username. How are they still caught and calling me? It's like an app. I accidentally de deleted Minecraft. <laughs> Bruh, someone removed the server. The, the Minecraft server. I want to join. I want to play with Birdly. And I can't leave a comment. Wish I could. Now, uh, there's a cat blog about this game called Cat Petters. As you, and uh, apparently in the game, uh, Noel does reference Dragon Blazers the game the most, so Cat Petters is probably just a, another game she plays. So they're hex editing the game. And this is called Egg. So basically, there's an egg in this game that gives you a random pet. Now, apparently she got a spam email, and she got a special egg. The egg never hatched. And... This is obviously a reference to Spamton and Peepus, the Peepus egg. Now we can go back to the links. Now there's a very, very creepy thing about these links. If you try to search up December, it's a fake page cannot be found. Uh, because I'm not using Windows XP or Windows Explorer or Internet Explorer. So, you can clearly see it's a fake in-website thing. December is missing. Now, if you look up Des, it's a, it's a right guitar. You click it, and it plays a guitar version of Lost Girl, which definitely sh should show signs of, like, this, her being missing instead of dead. Now, we also have this thing called Blue Circle. Now, let's 
Stampton Stampton said sent uh Noelle a spam email and she hex edited the spam email into the game. So yeah. And they came out with Peepus, okay, the blue circle egg. Now Icy. We can go on the Icy. Now this is Noel doing another thing and saying that that um that the Icy pizza box winked at her and her sister believed it. Now be sure to look once from her sister. If you try clicking that, it comes up with a page not be found thing. And then, this is a private post about Susie and Chris, and basically a monologue about how Chris deflected an apple thrown at them in class, and Chris ate the apple and said something to Susie that immediately, like, pissed her off or made her cry, or she just ran out of the room without saying anything. Now there's Phantom related links, which are just jokes. There's this one called Sighting from clicking on the toilet paper. <laughs> it's the plush on the toilet. This is probably taken in Toby Fox's house. This is a 1997 sighting of a Spamton G Spamton, everyone. There's a secret peepus. You lost. Let's click it over and over again. Um, green Room. Now, chapter 3 and 4 related links. Um, there's this one called RAM that shows you the entire green room. Click on the door, you're in the green room. Now, there's a couple things you can click on in these things. If you can find it, some around here, the objects. This door you can click on. It takes you to changing room. Sometimes you'll get this uh, chance to see Lancer and get Lancer. Ho oh, ho ho, you just got Lancer. And yet, yeah, that's one of the sh that's a Shadow Man, which is aka one of the new bosses or enemies you can fight in the game. And I have to knock their socks off or something like that. This door over here takes you to a TV. Which does nothing. Because it's, it's off. It's the same TV that we see at the end of chapter 2. So. There's also. This weird thing. Called chair. Now it shows a chair. Now it has waterfall sound effects. So it's obviously related to Gaster and darkness. You click on the chair. It begins glitching. I don't know if we've seen a chair like this in the game. But if you keep on clicking on it, you get a jump scare from some eyes. I don't think it... There it is. And it takes you back to the Santham sweepstakes thing. Now... There's a battle against Shadow Man, Shadow Man. Then there's Deltarune.com slash Blink, which is just Susie blinking. You can make her blink a lot. Now, there's Chris Dreamer Chris. And Chris basically would come over to Noelle's eyes, I mean Noelle's house, and basically play piano, 
and but Azriel and like Chris would play the piano because they don't have a piano at their house and basically uh when Noah opened her eyes and looked at them uh they would stop playing but when she closed her eyes it felt like a concert just for her now I I'm going to prepare you this piano music that sounds like a concert just for her but it also sounds delusional like someone is crazily playing the piano and um it's kind of creepy but also kind of soothing towards the end it's like somebody having a panic attack on the piano Pause that. Now we have weather, which shows weather people. Apparently, the weather always sticks together. Apparently, apparently, if, if you go in the egg, there is a man thing in class which is obviously there, and there's other joke sites, such as the cane changing room we just visited, and the dog. Best Inu, which is, I think, Chinese or Japanese for a dog. There's also doors, aka these closets that you can open up. Get a Roushy plushie. Now you just keep on opening them up. And yeah. The secret peep is from there. And eventually you keep on opening up all these closets, you'll get to the chair. Or this. One of these gives you a thing for ninth of Wikipedia page for nineteen ninety seven. Then there's the chair. So weirdly, that, that closet stays open. And it asks if you won with a question mark, which is kind of strange. There's uh, some assets. Here is audio for the face jump scare. There's some Noel music. There's also Lancer Spin, Crowd Gasp, uh, Water, Battle Vapor, which is the battle. Now there's also TV2 dot GIF, which just shows a big X over the TV. There's also deltarune.com slash man, which of course is just the tree. And you also have egg, which is Noelle's story about Spamton. Now there is also one more link that this person has not discussed. Damn you, Tenna. Which is basically the biggest lore reveal of Chapter 3. It's a Spamton. Spamton basically cursing at, uh... Everything is his fault. Everyone is going to pay. Everyone except... Mike. Now, theorists are saying that this reveals that Mike is actually a friend of Spamton and not the TV man. But uh, Tenna, Antenna could be the person. You click on the TV, you get this static thing. You also get this text that says, what are you doing here? You should be here. 
you're early. It's what it says. Now you keep on scrolling down. There is some misplaced static somewhere. But for me, it doesn't come up on my screen because my... Uh, you just click on it. And you get this aren't you forgetting something page. Alright, I'm back. Um, we're gonna check this out. There's RAM. There's also Damn You Tenna. Which... I don't know, it's not working for me. But if you scroll up, you actually keep on scrolling up. You get this Ice Palace room that is from uh, Dragon Blazers. Now, Noel talks about there being a hidden door out of bounds that you can't get to. Similar to Undertale and with Gaster, or that Gaster encounter. We don't know if it's Gaster. Did anyone wander around this screen as a kid? And no image is actually given. But in Dragon Blazers, this glitch, there's actually... And she went back to the door. And the door was actually locked, and she could not find any way to open it. Now, there is a theory. There's a theory that I want to show you. Going on to Google Images. Stampton, uh, shop, person calling out for help. There is a time where Spamton Spamton says, can anyone hear me help? But it isn't in Spamton's usual uppercase voice. It's actually beginning with a lowercase thing. And there's a similar thing hidden in the files of Deltarune. Which everyone is guessing is death trapped in darkness. Someone calling for help in Deltarune's files. Someone is calling for help in the text files. Now if I could find an image of this. Uh, there's text files in the game and somebody's calling out for help in them. Now once again, I'm going to show you a, vi a video. There is a video. Now, keep note, there is a item in the game called a twin ribbon, and this is just a theory, but we don't know for sure. Toby Fox recently collaborated on this thing called, um, I'm forgetting the name of it, but it's like, uh, an Omocat, X Omocat. They worked on, a. Skies Forever Blue song, which has this game in it. Now, I'm not going to focus on the song, because there's a dragon you can see getting killed. And it's basically what you think is a game about somebody confessing towards their crush. It basically gets more and more distorted, and then there's this, there's this one frame of a twin ribbon falling off as she falls into this dark abyss and it's also doing the same thing it does in Delta Room and it glitches out. Now, people are saying that this is Des because there's a twin ribbon in the game Delta Room and this girl falling into the abyss could be, this could be Dragon Blazers. And that's all we have for Chapter 3 lore as of right now. And, um, yeah. What I'm going to say is, um, the lore is tying very, very, very much into Gaster and Gaster themes. And I'm not going to be surprised if all these eggs that we collect will lead to something related to him by the end of the game. Chapter 3's, Chapter 3, 4, and 5 should release, uh, sometime next or this next year.
people are saying January 1st because Toby Fox is a jokester, but I, I think it'll probably be out by then or maybe later next year. So, yeah. Too long, didn't listen. Noelle's sister, Des Holiday, is inside the fucking void with Gaster, screaming out for help in the code of Delta Room. Chris always tried to warn Noelle, in weird ways, because it's believed that he knew. And then Gaster's experiment, aka the soul, us, the players, took control of Chris's body, and yeah. Can't wait to fight Tana for what he did to Spamthin in uh, Chapter 3. But uh, when, when that game comes, I'll see you guys later. Peace.